by golly, I was going to find some way to travel the world, have someone pay me to do it, and yeah. look for sharks. This is David Ebert. He's the director of the Pacific Shark Research Center, also known as the Lost Shark Guy. What I look for are all these other species that no one pays any attention to. He's dedicated his entire life to discovering new sharks and their close relatives, the skates, rays, and ghost sharks. So far, he's published over 40 new species. Bahamas ghost shark, dark mouth ghost shark, brown ghost shark, falker ghost shark, cape chimera, seafarer ghost shark, white spot ghost shark, robin's ghost shark, galapagos ghost shark, eastern pacific black ghost shark. And so I was really in the first leading edge of young researchers to catch that wave to like, let's go learn something about sharks and shark ecology. And that really was, goes back to Jaws. Yeah, it made, it made studying sharks kind of cool. The release of Jaws in 1975 brought sharks into the mainstream. While most people chased after the excitement of great whites, David focused on the lesser known species. People don't realize that there's just amazing diversity of sharks out there. Paddlenose peak ghost shark, southern African frilled shark, long snouted African spur dogfish, western gulper shark, southern gulper shark. And they have no idea because all they think about is, is, is jaws, like a white shark, a whale shark. Things I look at are the other 1,200 species of sharks that are out there. The long spined gulper shark, robin's gulper shark, white cheek lantern shark, the ninja lantern shark, broad snout lantern shark. Sharks and their close relatives are united by cartilaginous skeletons compared to other fishes with bony skeletons. But how does David know if he's dealing with a new species? It's, it's a process. I kind of look at it as sort of like a CSI type of thing. Once in a while, you'll have that sort of eureka moment like, wow, that's something new. And I know that right away. Other times, you're like, yeah, you know, it looks like that might be different or something. And then you start the process of gathering some information, take the information from the field and go back to the laboratory to do compare measurements on it and look at different morphological characters. Genetics are becoming another tool to use. So that's where that actually becomes the fun part of the whole thing because it's like an investigation. Short fin smooth lantern shark, Layla's lantern shark, Papawan lantern shark, sculpted lantern shark. Over his career, David has been on countless boating expeditions and remote camping trips. But the most effective way of discovering lost sharks may not be what you expect. It's neat to go out on like a research vessel to collect stuff and I've certainly done that. So you're on one boat and you're doing like one survey trawl or long line. If you go to a fish market, I literally have like a hundred fishermen bringing in stuff for me. Philippines angel shark, Lana saw a shark, African dwarf saw a shark, fox cat shark. You see these things come up and you realize like, hey, this is an undescribed species. And they're, and they're like, oh really? We thought it was called this. And it was actually a misidentification. And that happens a lot. Dark snout cat shark, the Australian articulated swell shark, spotted swell shark, leopard spotted swell shark. Traveling around the world to search for new shark species sounds exciting. But why are these discoveries so important? And some of these species that I've been looking for, we haven't seen in decades. Like if I mentioned something like a Pondicherry shark, for example, most people have no idea what that is. We haven't seen this thing since the 70s. It might be extinct for all we know, we have no idea, but that could be a precursor of what might be going on in the environment. Or they're kind of like the, the proverbial canary in the coal mine, the Indonesian file tail cat shark, Taiwan blind electric ray, Cali's torpedo ray, Taiwan torpedo ray, Austin's guitar fish, barbed wire tailed skate, the rough nose skate, and the Northern Indian Ocean false cat shark. That was that was for not only reading the list, but also all of the work that you have done to create that list. <laughs> <laughs>